But Usman's gonna get baptized, man. You know, I don't really like this individual, so why not get paid and f up somebody I don't like? We're not in the same playing field with the skill level, man. We're not. We haven't been since we were in the gym as kids, and we're not definitely now. But the only way I could show that is when I get my hands on Usman. So I'll just wait till that day comes. I gotta just say to your face. So when I saw him, I said, "What a better time!" He's sending messages to people. I'll tell you right to your face. Hey, buddy. Hey, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm gonna f you up. I'm not gonna tell. I, that's exactly what I did. I'm, I'm not gonna tell so and so. I'm gonna tell you to your face because that's how much a man I am. I'm gonna f you up when we get this fight time. It's gonna happen, and I'm gonna f you up. You know. <clears throat> and that's it. And then from there, I, I just told him that. You know, I was getting ready to walk away. You know, way ready. Just want to say my piece, and then he went off crazy and. You know, do something. Do so. There's like 20 guys in, in between us, man. You know I can't do nothing, especially you being loud. You would have stayed in, in the indoor talking voice. We could have done something. But you made such a scene for everybody to see and getting between the real man couldn't happen, you know. But he exposed himself again. He showed his cards again on that day. And I thank him. This one doesn't hit, and that's indicated in his record. I think he has two stoppages. That was his second one. And I give him props that on the biggest night of his life, he, he, he pulled off his second KO, and that's awesome. But if you're asking me from a technical standpoint, we're not in the same playing field when it comes to stand-up, and he knows it. That that man can never look me in the eyes and say, I, I would stand with you. He's going to immediately magnetize on my crotch and, and do what he does, you know, avoid the fight at all costs. But we're ready for that. Would you say it's the biggest of your career to, to this point, fighting for the welterweight title or not? It, it, parts of it, yes. Parts of it, no. Because it, it, a fight is is just more than the guy that you have in front of you. It's also the moment. Yeah. It'll be fighting for the UFC title, so that's huge. But the skill set, no, my brother. I this uh <laughs> this animal hunter has tamed much more ferocious animals and wild beasts than this mere insect in front of me. So as far as that goes, skill level goes, no. This individual will be tamed on that night. This matador will tame the wild animal and with ease as well. There's a reason why he doesn't want to fight me. And he says he wants to fight a guy that's ranked under me that he already beat. He says it's a tougher fight. And how many stoppages does that individual that he's talking about have in his whole record compared to mine? You know, you guys ain't idiots. Neither is the public. Usman can try to sell whatever he wants to the public, but people ain't stupid, man. You're a fucking idiot if anybody's going to believe this shit. You're saying you already beat that guy and he's ranked under me. How is he a tougher fight than me? Explain what, what do you consider a tougher fight, me breaking your face or you possibly beating him? That That's what uh what I guess he's thinking, man, As he knows his time is up. And another thing I'll, I'll say while all the press is here, Usman's coaches, they were in his corner for his last fight sparring partners, all that stuff, is my graduating class from American Top Team. I think a lot of you might have known the Black Zillions. They're no longer with us, but they were a part of ATT. They used to be with us. So a lot of those coaches that he has in his corner right now are the same dudes that are telling him, don't fight that guy, bro. He's going to fuck you up, man. We know who that guy is. You know who you are. Fake the injury when the time comes because this one's not going your way. And that's, that's really the main reason why he doesn't like to address me because he knows, man, this shit is for real. I don't know, man. He's a, he's a boring ass dude, man. And here's the thing: if I'm if I'm speaking from a, from straight tactical point, he's not gonna want to strike, and he doesn't really like fully commit to wrestling either. All he fully commits to is stalling, mm -hmm. just being a f stall machine, man. You know, for the first time he didn't stall with this guy, and it was a kickboxing match, and the world gave him all types of praise for it because he wasn't his usual boring self, and he actually threw some fists. But we all know he's not going to throw fists when it comes to him. He's going to try to act like he's going to throw fists, and then he's going to go for the takedown. And he's going to quickly find out, I'll never get held down by that guy. I won't get out grappled by that guy. I'll put my life on it. I'll put my money on it. I'm, I'm firmly in the firm belief system that I'm a better fighter than him, and I'm going to prove it on July. Now, I don't want to keep making that guy famous, so let's talk about somebody else. Because that's going to happen, but that's going to happen in July, man. I'm, uh, let's I'm talk... Well, let's, I'm, let's... I'm going to back up every word I've said.
I'm gonna back up every word I've said. 